Hi folks, welcome to another walk with Harvey and this week we're at Kilbrony Forest Park and I'm planning to do uh, three different peaks today so Sleeve Martin which I've done before with Rosie I'll put a link to the video up here that's the one where we got locked in the car park at the end of the day and had to phone somebody to let us out so today I've come up to the top car park which uh, yeah cuts a bit of the lower slopes off but uh, yeah I've done them before anyway so that's not not a big problem. So yeah, the ones I'm going to try and do are Sleeve Martin first, Sleeve Nevada and Knock She. So uh, yeah, I left it uh, early today, so it's, uh, what time is it now? So 10 to 8 now, so I think sunrise is about half 8 I think, so I wanted to get out early because I think it's, it's due to get a bit windier as the day goes on, so uh, if we're lucky we might get up to uh, Sleeve Martin for sunrise, I'm not too sure. Uh, better get on in a wee minute. So Harvey's in the back there as usual waiting to get out so uh, yeah better get on our way. Speak to you in a bit. If you saw the other video you will also have seen us going to the big stone as well so uh, yeah you can go directly there from this top car park it's not a massive walk that's worth doing as well if you've not got much time heading left out of the car park up through the forest to our first summit sleeve mark Okay, that's us out of the zigzaggy bit out of the forest. So, uh, yeah, another dog off the lead, having a bit of a row with Harvey there. Not too bad, I think it was just a, a young pup, so overly playful. So the last time me and Rosie were up this direction, uh, we couldn't see which direction we were going at all. So uh, when you've got a bit more visibility, it's, uh, yeah, it's a lot easier on the navigation. I think this path would probably ring us round, but you can also get over to the right here, which is what we did the last time, which is a more direct route. So I think we'll go there if we're going to see any kind of sunrise. Okay, that's us on the top of Sleeve Martin. It's good to actually get some views today over Canford Lock. Yeah, the last time we were up, I couldn't see a thing. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just going to take a wee break here. Just looking over across at this wee peak over here. Now, it might not look it, but that is meant to be one of the toughest peaks in the whole of the Mourns. It's called Crenville. And the reason it's a tough because all the ground around it is really badly uh, potholed through deforestation I think so uh, yeah it'd be one that I'd do without Harvey because I think it takes a takes a wee while getting up there navigating your way through big dips in the ground and stuff so uh, yeah I might do that one there in a few weeks without Harvey but yeah it's definitely one to, to tick off the list. <laughs>
met another couple of people that have uh, seen the channel. Uh, two fellas there up for a walk and uh, he'd just been watching the video of me and Rosie when we got locked in. So that was a bit of a coincidence. They uh, were a bit camera shy so he didn't want to appear on camera. Can't blame him. Okay, that's us on sleeve band. Another nice week bench in this one as well. I suffer very badly from wind. Great views over uh, Ross Trevor across Carlingford Lock to the Cooley Mountains over there. So that's in the Republic of Ireland. So if you're visiting here from anywhere else and uh, you're not familiar with the territory over here, uh, you can tell which side of the border you're on by the, the crisps. The crisps look like this. You are north of the border, and if your crisps look like this, uh, then you're south of the border. And it's two different companies. I believe the company in the north bought the recipe of the company in the south and kept the same name and a very similar uh, logo as well. So there you go. Probably can't see them in the distance, but there's a mountain bike is just going over the ridge over there. I'll see if I can zoom in. So yeah, there's a lot of mountain biking around Kilbrony, some dedicated paths and a bit of off-roading as well, which they seem to be doing. Some of the paths are getting a bit dug up by it, but uh, hey ho. Ready for this narrow bridge again, Harvey? Pull me over. Ooh. Nearly went. Most toughest peak, supposedly. Doesn't look that tough from here. Anyway, another quick look at the map. We're heading towards Sleeve Fadder, which I don't think is here at this mast. I think it's further on down this path here. Right, from what I can work out from the map, Sleeve Fadder is beyond this second mast over here. What used to be a mess. Just 
looking at that sign on the building there. It says Site Killowen Mountain. I can't see any Killowen Mountain on here. So you can see the uh, the masts, the two symbols there and there. So uh, yeah, I don't know where they're going, getting Killowen Mountain from. I must Google that when I get in. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's fairly clear from the map that we're heading in the right direction. I'm going to head along here. Right, I'm, I'm making my way down towards uh, Nokshi here, but uh, yeah, Sleaf Bad is one of these long mountains, like big long plateau on the top of it, without any sort of marker for the top. So uh, I'm trying to decide <laughs> which is the uh, the highest point. Not that it really matters. What do you reckon? We we'll just stand here and juggle five balls, are we? This is as as good a place as any, I think, to call to call the summit. Okay, let's give this a go. Okay, that's us on the top of Nokshi. So that's about three hours, 22, 4.8 miles. So uh, yeah, some great views over the mountains from here and across Carlingford Lock. So just gonna juggle five balls on top of this one. There's a bit of smoke over there. I don't know where, where that's coming from. <laughs> getting another cup of tea on the stove. I forgot my wee mug so it's gonna have to be a cup of tea first and then the soup. Right, that's us off the tops there. It was getting a bit cold up there. The wind chill was pretty, pretty nippy. So uh, glad to be back in the forest park. A bit, somewhere it's a bit milder. So rather than go back down the zigzags that I came up earlier on, I've decided I'll go down this path, uh, which leads us to the Clockmore Stone. So uh, yeah, go there and then loop back around towards the car park. If you're doing this walk, keep your eye out for these trails 
these small trails that you can see on the left. The signpost is for no walkers and that's because they're mountain bike trails. So there's a good lot of mountain biking around Ross Trevor, which I must do at some point. The only time I did it before was with the kids when they were really young and it was a bit too much for them so we didn't end up actually doing that much. But yeah, I'd love to get out and do a bit more mountain biking. Okay, that's us back at the car. So uh, that was just over eight miles, five hours, 54, I think. Yeah, something like that anyway. So yeah, it's good to get a few of these ones uh, ticked off. If I was going to do it again, uh, or you were going to do this route, I'd suggest uh, doing it a little bit different to what I did. I'm just getting the map out here, bear with me. So the route that I took was, from this car park here, the upper car park at Kilbrony, and then um, zigzag through the forest up to the summit of Sleeve Martin, and then I came back down, did Sleeve Mean, and went down to Sleeve Ban, and then back up past Sleeve Mean, down past the masts, across Sleeve Fadder down to knock she so yeah if, if you were going to do this one what i'd suggest is uh start at the same place obviously uh up the zigzags up to sleeve martin and then straight across towards the masts down to knock she first come back up and then make your way down to sleeve mean sleeve ban and then make your way down to the Clockmore Stone that way and back to the, the car park and that would be more of a loop <laughs> than what I did but anyway yeah still a few more around the other side to do uh, Sleeve Bane, Sleeve Dermot is that I'm getting a bit of a crease in my map there so they I'd maybe do them in one day I, d I wouldn't know whether I don't know whether I'd do them as well as Crenville I wonder what they're like actually maybe they're as difficult as Crenville with its crevices so yeah, there's a few more around here still to be done. Sleeve Meal, Leckenmore and Sleeve Roosley are the ones I did the other week. So uh, yeah, still plenty left to do anyway. But uh, if you're new to this channel, I do regular walking videos and juggling videos occasionally. So hopefully there'll be a bit more juggling this year as things start to open up again after the pandemic. But if you haven't done already, subscribe, give us a wee thumbs up and hopefully we'll see you on another one. Cheers, bye.